Hello everyone. Welcome to the Story Corner. We hope you're having a lovely day wherever you're tuning in from. Today we're reading 10 Delicious Teachers by Ross Montgomery and Sarah Warburton. Ten Delicious Teachers Ten Tired Teachers are finished for the day. The kids have gone, the homework's marked, the chairs are tucked away. They stagger through the playground with a weary blurry groan, just in time to see they've missed the last bus home. Never mind, says Mr. Smith. Look at what I see. A shortcut through the forest. We'll be home in time for tea. Ten foolish teachers already celebrating, unaware that in the woods a monster pack is waiting. Ten furry fiends, ten bristly brutes, ten hairy hungry beasts are hidden in the trees to have themselves a teacher feast. Oh no, look at all of them here, hiding in the woods, laying in wait for the teachers. Ten delicious teachers skipping through the trees, surrounded by a paradise of plants and bugs and bees. Mrs. Dawlish stops to pause and pick a dandelion. A monster creeps up right behind her. Now there's only nine. Nine delicious teachers hiking up the path, tailed by a naughty monster, trying not to laugh. Mr. Fenton falls behind and now is running late. He stops to rest and catch his breath. Now there's only eight. Eight delicious teachers walking in a line, hopping over stepping stones, a teacher at a time. Miss Mackenzie doesn't stop to see where she's heading, straight into the monster's mouth. Now there's only seven. Seven delicious teachers strolling down the lane, wondering how long it is until they're home again. But wait, what's this beside the path? A kind and thoughtful gift. Madam Mason falls for it. Now there's only six. Six delicious teachers stalking through the grass, singing songs and waving sticks and marching extra fast. Mr. Kendall doesn't see the hidden gleaming eyes. The monsters have surrounded him. Now there's only five. Five delicious teachers, their journey nearly done, wondering why half the staff have vanished one by one. They row across a scenic lake to reach the sandy shore. Mr. Meadows doesn't make it. Now there's only Four. Four delicious teachers on a creaky wooden bridge, taking careful steps to reach the fearsome rocky ridge. No one sees the beast about them swooping from the trees to snaffle Mrs. Fortunata. Now there's only three. Three delicious teachers feeling bold and brave, sneaking through the darkness of a cold and creepy cave. Mrs. Joseph takes a break, a foolish thing to do. She lights a match to find her way. Now there's only two. Two delicious teachers, the only pair remaining. They're cold and lost. It's getting dark. It's even started raining. Mr. Smith's determined for the journey to be done. He 
He goes to read the helpful map. Now there's only one, one delicious teacher left. In fact, a nursery teacher used to dealing with all kinds of noisy, smelly creatures. Miss Hunter is her name and now the monster pack has found her. They rub their hands and lick their lips and quickly close around her. Stop that at once, Miss Hunter shouts. The bees are stopped completely. You naughty things, Miss Hunter cries. How dare you try to eat me? Who taught you to behave this way? What's that? No explanation? I think it's time you beasts received a proper education. Oh, look at all their faces. They look terrified for once. Looks like they're all scared of Miss Hunter. And rightly so, she's the nursery teacher who's already used to dealing with little monsters. Ooh, and see what do we have here. These cheeky, cheeky monsters have all pinched a thing each from the teachers that they have eaten. We can see this one down here is wearing Mrs. Fortunata's boots. And this one is holding on to Madame Mason's handbag. The monster that ate Mr. Meadows has his whistle. And the monster that ate Mr. Kendall has his scarf wrapped around him. Funny monsters. Ten uneasy monsters at their brand new monster school, learning how to be polite and follow all the rules. Don't eat your desk, say please and thanks, and never bite your friends. Now get your books. Today we'll learn the numbers 1 to 10. Oh, look, Miss Hunter and her monster class. They need a bit of training from Miss Hunter, don't they? Look at this one nibbling on the paper, this one swallowing a book, this one's chomping on a desk. I'm sure they'll all be back on track in no time with Miss Hunter as their teacher. What do we have here? A class photograph. On the top row, it's nifty, lumpy, dum dum, and fecal. The middle row has bobbins, nuggins, and grizzler, who's busy digging his nose. And the bottom row has gargle, Miss Hunter, Humbo, and Dave. That's it for now. We hope you enjoyed reading 10 Delicious Teachers with us. Tune in again. Bye-bye.